Michael wanted a bigger, they wanted, he wanted a bigger cinematic kind of a feel, but no one had ever done that on record with a groove. Mm. And that's that's how I got the gig. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Because I was doing movies. I wasn't like programming. Oh, right, yeah, yeah. I was doing movies and Quincy, I mean, he was just way ahead. Way ahead. That was the contribution that nobody else could have done. Like, yeah. To think, wait a minute, Michael Jackson, visual music, of course, medium, like he can dance, act, like put it together. And then it led to that thriller movie, mm -hmm. which was the game changer. Yeah, absolutely. But that's why I was there, was just like to make it cinematic if possible mm -hmm. and just do whatever. Well, mission accomplished. Yes. <laughs> well, I mean, I, I, again, I just followed the Rod orchestration. Yeah. yeah. We yeah. just stylized it to whatever level and, and I was able to more maybe prof, uh, proficient on this thing. But I'm not like the most technical person, you know, that's like, that's not what I don't, I don't like program my whole life for things. Well. No, but it's your it's your approach based on all this the cinematic work you Yeah, and yeah. orchestration, yeah. orchestration. Knowing orchestra. Yeah. Yeah. Right. You know, after Thriller I did a hundred movie scores, conducting and or writing orchestration. That's what I really always wanted to do. That's my thing. And the synthesizers is just well, I mean I bought this from Jerry Goldsmith. This was his. Wow. Before Thriller, this was on Logan's Run. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. And Star Trek. Wow. So this, this particular crazy. one has like a, That's, seen some miles. Oh my goodness. And Jerry is great. I mean, yeah. he really loved this stuff. Yeah. Michael Jackson's Thriller Album. Stories in the Room. This is Michael Jackson's Thriller Album, Stories in the Room. Join film composer Anthony Marinelli, who programmed synthesizers for seven songs on Thriller and a and veteran film producer Stephen Ray, who assisted Quincy Jones and was in the studio every day with Quincy and Michael. Michael Jackson's thriller album, Stories in the Room. Yeah, he sold this to me when I was in high school. I was 17. <laughs> I scrounged up everything. I worked at the Hollywood Bowl, like, cleaning up throw up. Yeah. Anything I could do to, to get money to, to, it was the only job I had other than like a music job because I wanted to get this, and I, I got it from him. And it was a, Man. it was awesome to have this thing. Okay, so then the, no, the, the wind, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. Thriller wind. And then I remember it kind of went down a little. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> then it went up. And then we timed it, you know, with these. So I guess it was here. Just yeah. See if you can, you want to do the win? Yeah. So, so we're timing. That's a good win. Good old arc. <laughs> it's alive! <laughs> but it's different, you know, they, then they also use real sound effects too, which mm -hmm. I thought was pretty awesome because, mm -hmm. you know, these are like caricatures of, real wind doesn't sound yeah. like this. Yeah. And then they use real sound effects. Yeah. Where'd this guy go? Oh. <laughs> the falling star. Falling star. Did we yeah. give you that one? You got it. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to get that one. Can, can I do it? Yeah, you do that, yeah. Can I do it? <laughs> He's like, can I do it? Can I do it? I'm going to press the falling star. <laughs> That's it. Simple as that. That's the sound that started Thriller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right after the... <clears throat> so it's... <laughs> and then we go right into the pads and the chords to start the intro. Oh, I just wanted to ask you, did you have a phase shifter on the roads? On Thriller? Sounds like something's yes. on there. Or a chorus. Yeah, something's on there. The chorus. Yeah. Which one? I don't know. Oh, that's what we uh, had to do. It might have been, been a road. boss. We have to do the roads. Boss chorus? Might have been. It might have been. Yeah, uh, we got to do the roads, Anthony. Hit 88. Hit 88. It'll it tr- is. start over again. Yeah. Uh, Two eights. Oh, because you got that foot pedal down, right? Oh, Maybe. well. It's supposed to be down, though. Yeah. Yeah, because it's that thing. Yeah, no, that's it. There we go. That's basically it, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, the whole thing or just that? Just the beginning. Yeah. This part? Yeah. yeah. You see the difference? So just for yeah, me, sound, can you yeah. do the whole thing? Because a lot of oh. people haven't heard the whole thing. Yeah. They haven't heard the whole thing a lot. Yeah. And and actually, th- it was a combination of two different sounds. Because there's one uh, just doing this pad, right? And then there's another sound where I'm going. Yes. Yes. With that movement. Yes. But I'll just do it all together for right now. But there are two different sounds. No, oh, of course we can't forget the little pedal, can we? Well, okay. Uh, well, I'll do it like this. Join us for the next episode of Michael Jackson's Thriller album, Stories in the Room, with your hosts, Anthony Marinelli and Stephen Ray. Watch our extended interviews on youtube.com forward slash at stories in the room. Audio only interviews are available on all podcast networks. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok at Stories in the Room. For the latest news and links, visit the website, storiesintheroom.com. This podcast is produced by Christian D. Brune and David Wolf, recorded by Autovita Studios. Additional recording by Ben Rackless. Edited by Jay Spang and Sean Hedinger. Music by Anthony Marinelli and Stephen Ray. Michael Jackson's doing